Hey everyone, Fusemen coming at ya, and today, super excited to be updating our 360 video player tutorial. Now, with this one, we'll be using a lot of native integration that came with 5.6, so you'll definitely need that version, but I actually recommend 5.6.1 patch 2. And the reason for that is it now works on Android, iOS, and the Rift 5 and all the PC platforms. So you'll need that to follow along with this, and the reason that 360 is so cool is that within Unity, you can actually make these things interactive. One of the complaints that I hear a lot about 360 video is that it's it's just a passive experience and there's nothing really exciting about it. But if you bring that into Unity, you can actually make it really exciting and it's a really cool technique. So we're going to check that out today. So to start this off, you'll actually need to get Blender, and you'll pretty much need any version. Apparently we're just using 2.77, but anything works. And once we're in here, let's just go ahead and delete everything that's currently in the scene. We don't need any of that. Next, go to the Create tab, and then add in an Icosphere. Here, we'll increase the subdivisions, make sure to generate UVs, which is really important. And then, once you're in the scene view, make sure to select the mesh and press W. Pressing W enables the flip normals option, which we'll need. The reason you'll need to flip normals is because what in a normal sphere, you're only able to see the outside, but not the inside. So by flipping the normals, you'll be able to see the inside, but not the outside, which actually works perfectly for a 360 video player. Now they have that set up, go ahead and save the file. I'm just going to be calling this reverse sphere and save it to wherever you want. Great, so that's pretty much all we need to do with Blender. And with that, we now have a reverse sphere.blend file, which we can go ahead and drag into a brand new Unity project. You see here, I'm using 5.6.1 patch 2. And we'll also need a 360 video file. So in this case, I'm going to be using our Pokemon Go video that's already published on YouTube, but you can use pretty much whatever you want. Okay, great. So now that we have both of our assets imported, let's go ahead and drag our reverse sphere into the center and then just go ahead and zero everything out, but we'll increase the scale to about 555. Now the reason for this is to kind of have a little more leeway to play around with within our sphere. The second thing you want to do is reset the position of the camera to 000, so now it's in the center of our sphere. Once we've done that, let's go back to our reverse sphere. We can remove the animator component, we don't need that. And then let's go ahead and add in a video player component. Now this is a thing that's native only to 5.6, so it's important you have that version. And with that, we can go ahead and drag our video clip into the video clip component. And you'll just, you can keep pretty much all of the settings the same just to go ahead and test this. I'm gonna actually go ahead and zoom out from the scene view and then hit play. You'll then see that our video is playing, but there are two problems. The first being we don't get any audio, which is actually a big problem. And the second is that our current material on the sphere is a standard material, and as such, it gets lit by any of the lighting in the scene. So I want to change that. So both of those are actually really easy. All we need to do here is add in an audio source, and then just drag that onto our track. And then for the material, we'll actually want to go ahead and create a new material. Let's just call this 360 material. And then for, instead of it being a standard material, you'll actually want to make it an unlit textured material. Go ahead and drag that onto the sphere. And now if we hit play, we should see that we have audio and it's unlit. Hey everyone, Fuseman coming at ya. And today, gonna be playing some Pokemon Go in 360. Great, so that solves both of those major problems with the player. But now that we're in Unity, let's actually add a little bit more of a dynamic touch to it by using depth so that we can actually justify why we're in Unity. The real reasons you'll want to use Unity is one, by adding in dynamic animated components like particle systems, which we're going to do. And two is adding interaction like say a button or hotspots or something that adds a little more flavor to your 360 videos. So let's go to the asset store and get the falling leaves particle system and go ahead and import that in. That'll take a second. So once it goes in and imports, go ahead and go to your prefabs folder and then just drag in any of the materials. We'll just be using the leaves one. Now I'm just going to center it in the X and the Z. You can keep the Y the same. And you can see here that now it's actually working. So if I go ahead and hit play, you'll see that we now have leaves in our sphere. Hey everyone, Fuseman coming at ya. And today, going to be playing some Pokemon Go in 360 degrees. 
And again, to reiterate, the reason why you would want to do that is because it adds that depth cue, which is so crucial to VR and actually making a, a scene really feel immersive. All right, so now that we have our leave system working and we have the video player working just as we want it, let's go into our build settings. Make sure you have the platform you have want selected. So in our case, I want to use Android and Cardboard, but you could use the Rift, you could use the Vive, you can use pretty much anything you want. With that, go into player settings and you'll see here we have virtual reality support. Go ahead and click that and you can use the plus button here to add support for anything you want. So whether that's gear, daydream, for, or cardboard, in our case cardboard. And now before we actually go ahead and build and run for Android, I just want to address a few quick questions that I saw in the last video. The one main one being that how do you enable stereo support? Now unfortunately I don't have a stereo 360 video so I won't be able to show that but I can walk you kind of through the steps of how you do it. So the first thing you want to do is on your main camera, you'll see once you enable VR support that you'll get target eye. You'll see here we can then choose which is the left and right eye. So you'll need to have one camera that is the left and another camera that's slightly offset and represents the right eye. Once you do that, you'll also need to create two spheres that are enabled to support the 360 video. And for this specifically, you'll actually want to go into a render texture and then send the texture to that render texture, change the offsets so that you have half of the video for the left and then the other half for the right. And that's just a small little trick there. And the last part is making sure that you have your layer set up correctly so that the left camera can only see the left sphere and the right camera can only see the right sphere. I'll, I'll also link to a article that you can go ahead and check out if you wanna enable that specifically for yourself. All right, so with that, it's time to build. Now, one thing real quick before you actually go into build is make sure you set your minimum API levels to, to set cardboard expectations. For that, you need level 19, and that's just the minimum you'll need. I think Daydream might have a little higher spec. All right, so you can now see that we have our 360 video playing within Android and it works and we have the particle so we can get that little depth. So I encourage you to make sure to check out whatever you try in VR because that really adds to your level of immersion. So yeah, that's, that's just start to end on how you do this. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a new format we're trying out. So definitely leave any feedback or questions in the comments below. We read through it all. And if you haven't done so already, definitely hit that like button or give us a subscription. That helps us out a ton. So with that, thanks so much for watching. This has been Fuse Man, and I'm signing out.